you were saying? Yeah, so my journey started as a, web, as a hardware engineer with the firmware testing, uh, writing diagnostic in a C programming language. That was way back in 97. So I got the hobby of you know web development, HTML, writing a page and others. So it also happened that my tech leader took me aside and told, uh, these are all the distractions, what you should avoid, you should focus on your work. So, but still that bug was biting me. So I built my first web server and then hosted for our, uh, our group. I hosted a place where people can share uh, files and others. That's how the web development started. So, so what my, open source means to you? Uh, open source means the freedom to try out the combination of uh, weird ideas coming into reality and then giving back to community. So the chain of ideas keep on getting it generated. Works. It works. It, it works great. It works great. And sir, you were saying that uh, your career. So my big. my love for Linux go back to my college. That is which year and which uh, college? IIT Delhi. And uh, we booted one those days we booted a kernel in floppy disk. So it was crazy. People have 90s, never seen 90s? 1999. Yeah. 1999. Yeah. 1999. Yeah. And after that, Linux was always with me. We should get free CDs those days. Yeah. So we'll PC crop, Quest. Yeah, PC yeah. Quest. yeah, we'll keep trying it. Yeah. And uh, uh, I used to explain it to people, people don't understand. Fine. But everybody wanted to see that how the operating system boots, which I could see them, show them. So that was like crazy. Like they've always seen the Linux or Windows where you cannot see it booting, right? And this was like, see, this is a virtual memory to physical memory, physical memory to virtual memory transition happens now. So it was crazy experience on that. Then when I came to Deep Tech, like when I was, uh, I moved back from US that time, I was with GA Aerospace. So they had an open source group, which I was part of. So when I came to India, I started doing the first startup. And then I saw the real power of Linux. You want to develop a product, enterprise grade product, where do you develop, pick the code from? You see there's so many code available those days, not even GitHub was there, but so many code was there. You choose the code and then you take it and build it, bake it. Then you also give back to the community. So we did four, five professional code products and these were the products used by defense and all. So like Leica was a Leica Geo system, uh, we used a lot of code there. Then uh, I had some family issues, so I came back to, to corporate again. And what I realized was from Broadcom to Cisco to Dell, everybody is in love with open source. The company cannot survive if a deep tech company doesn't have open source. And they all use uh, Linux, FreeBSD, you think of whatever you want. It works for you. It works for everybody in the world. Today, the phone which you use, right? Uh, if you are using a phone, yeah. uh, mobile, uh, Apple phone, Apple is a knock from BSD, right? iOS. And uh, Android is a knock from Linux. Or a router, if you take, all, most of them come from pre-BSD or some come from Linux. So everybody uses Linux, like open source. I call open source is like a god. Nobody sees it. Everybody believes it. And everybody blesses, gets blessed by that. It's it's uh, it's uh, fed you for 23 years, you were saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And your name and present? I am Devanshu Verma. I am a founder and entrepreneur from a cyber security, uh, IoT security company called Redinant Innovation. We are into product development. We are based out of Bangalore. Bangalore. Thank you so much, Devanshu.